Okay, YouTubers, this is a set of 862 truck casting heads. Uh, it's going to, going to be ported out and opened up to a 2 inch intake, maintaining the 155 uh, exhaust valve. But we are trying to raise the compression in this 2000 uh, WS6 LS1 engine. So here's my dilemma. I need this to be a true 61 cc cylinder head but as you guys may know if you've seen any of my videos these 862's and 706 heads don't actually measure 61.5 like GM wants you to believe they uh, I've done three sets prior to these and they measured right at 65 cc in the combustion chamber okay that's a huge difference when you're looking at 61.5 up to or 61 and a half up to 65 cc's that's pretty that's a big difference guys so what i need to do today is measure this chamber because i'm getting ready to take these heads down to nolan's cylinder head service to have the valve job done to open them up to the two inch uh, intake valves which i believe the customer is going with manly pro flow intake valves two inch not the 202s because we wanted to try to maintain a good seal on these stock uh val or, i'm sorry the valve seats get a little sketchy once you go out to a 202 on these stock seats all right we started out at 80 i'm also trying out these new syringes Hold up to 150 milliliters slash cc's per fill we're gonna have to be kind of ballparky we have about see if you guys can see that i have about 18 left in the syringe and i had it preloaded with 80 so what's that leave me 10 yeah that's about a 62 i wonder if these heads have been surfaced before and if and um this is something i haven't been able to validate back to back this will be a good test for it is the after you open them up to the two inch valve from the one one point eight nine hundred, does it gain or lose volume in the in the actual chamber because you are putting a larger diameter valve in there that would cover more let's call it area but they're also going to cut the seat which may you know what i mean like the extra size in your valve could be negated by the valve seat being cut during the valve job. We'll have to wait and see. But looks to me, because if this is actually closer to a 62 or 63 cc head, that's wonderful because that greatly reduces the amount we have to mill or machine off of the head, surfacing, milling, whatever you want to call it. Because what we're trying to do is get a 61 cc chamber with the appropriate mall head gaskets we should be right at 11 to 1 maybe slightly over we're trying to hit a 450 plus rear wheel horsepower na uh, goal so anyway i was getting ready to run these down to uh nolan's and you can see where i've written on the deck my desired bowl cut per, uh measurement I'm hoping that they will do that for me, but I haven't, I've yet to clarify that. But when I hand poured them for the two inch valve, I usually use my template that's one, one and seven, 780 thousandths as my bowl cut percentage on the intake for a two inch valve. And then I usually use a one and 333 thousandths for the bowl cut on the exhaust side. So I just wanted to see when they do this valve job, are they able to set up that? Because if they can set that actual accurate cut on the bottom or the transition, we'll call it, of the valve seat into the ports, 
that would save me a ton of time. So, you know, this is the first time I've taken a set to Nolan's. So we're gonna learn some new information today as far as what they're willing to do, how much it's gonna cost, because that's another added cost that I'm, we've right. ran into is when you're going from the 189 truck intake valve size to the LS two inch valve, are they going to charge me extra money or, you know, is it going to be the same price? You know, cause you, you generally, when you go in, you can say, Hey, I want to do a valve job on these heads. It's going to be X amount of money. But since we're changing valve size on the intake, are they going to charge a slight premium? But when you do your valve job to cut the seat for the intake valve, it's going to lay that angle back. That top ceiling angle is going to get laid back and pulled out towards this casting. So they may have to actually use their, uh, oh, their valve job tool, for lack of a better term, to kind of shave off a little bit of this aluminum to hurt to help that transition from the new larger valve to the chamber so you know what i mean anything that's removed from here can increase the volume or cc or volume of your chamber and we're trying to carefully you know science this out so that we can have a full one point of compression higher than factory so we can gain that uh, mechanical advantage for building the torque and the horsepower that we're trying to build so you know these are going to be a set of 215 cc runner probably 82 cc exhaust runners you know 275 280 head uh more than enough cylinder head to do what we're trying to do plus boost that compression up to 11 between 11 and 11 2 depending on the actual deck height of those pistons in the block because generally when i use those online calculators i just arbitrarily put in that it's about five thousandths above the deck height i've heard anything between five thousandths and ten thousandths so i thought well i'll go conservative that way if i end up with a just a hair more compression that's fine because you know we know what kind of build we're we're trying to to uh, create and what the goal is naturally aspirated so anyway i uh started on this uh 862 cylinder heads for the ls1 build um i have literally sanded till my hands keep going numb on those 243 heads for the twin turbo build i am going to post up a video with more you know close-up detailed uh pictures and information on those I just wanted to get them closer to the final product before I showed you any more of it because number one it's been super hot and humid here so I can only work outside you know a couple of hours at a time plus I'm having a lot of trouble with my hands going numb for some reason from the die grinder so <clears throat> I don't know maybe I'm getting old or maybe the die grinder is losing its balance who knows it might be time to upgrade so Anyway, I just wanted to kind of throw out some of those bowl cut percentages. The fact that I'm taking this set of heads to Nolan Cylinder Head in Kansas City. I'm hoping to get some good information on what they're able to do or not to do as far as doing the uh, proportional or proportionate bowl cut percentages when they do a valve job because that could be a huge time saver for me. Plus, it's just that, that much better in your quality and your consistency because if you've got a cutter that can cut that percentage it's going to be more accurate than doing it by hand you know that just kind of goes without saying so anyway looking for 61 cc hopefully we'll get it um, i will do an update video when we get these heads back and get them final assembled naturally because i want to see how much that changes when we uh, put in the bigger valve and do the fresh valve job. So appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the thumbs up. All those little things that help me get more uh, revenue because all my projects are absolutely on standstill. 
because honestly guys I just can't afford to work on them you know I've got a video coming up where I'm trying to turbo my blazer and I'm absolutely standing still in quicksand because I just don't have the I don't have the dinero right now so hit everything up the way they want you to stay tuned I'll be back